Hi, now in this video what I want to do is introduce you to the polar equation of a circle and also we'll talk about polar equations of arcs. And the polar equation of a circle is r equals a, a being a positive value. It represents a circle then center O and radius A. So if we had something like this for instance that r equaled say 2 then what I'd want to do is sketch an initial line that would be say theta equaling 0 degrees or 0 radians. This would be our center O often called the pole and then I would just draw a circle of radius 2 units. This point here would be where r equals 2. r would equal 2 all the way out here. Okay? Now the other curve that you are likely to get is that of an arc. It's very similar to the equation of a circle, only it has a restricted domain for theta. Let me show you. Let's suppose we've got this question here. Sketch the curve with polar equation r equals 2a for theta greater than or equal to pi upon 4 radians but less than or equal to pi radians. Now to sketch something like this what we'd need to do is just start by looking at r equals 2a. And r equals 2a would be a circle of radius 2a. So if we had our initial line theta equals 0 0 degrees or 0 radians. 0 radians in this particular case because we're dealing with radians. We've got our center here or the pole and if we were to draw a circle of radius 2a then we would get something like this where this cut the initial line here at 2a. Now this is what we would have if theta went from 0 to 2 pi but we've got a restricted domain here theta greater than or equal to pi upon 4 but less than or equal to pi radians. Now if I was to draw in theta equaling pi upon 4 radians that would be an angle up here. This would be pi upon 4 radians. The equivalent to 45 degrees. And if we looked at pi radians, which is the equivalent of 180 degrees, that would take us out here. There would be my 180 degrees or pi radians. So what I'm considering here is just part of this circle going between pi upon 4 radians all the way around to pi radians. So what's going to happen then is that we just need to neglect this part of the curve. So what we have then is just this arc here where this is the angle theta that goes between these values here. And the radius, well that is 2a. Okay?